The small town of Baunatal in Hessen appears far removed from the problems plaguing German society. Unemployment is low and many residents own their own homes. This was one of Frank Walter Steinmeier's first stops on the campaign trail. He's here to boost support for the Hessen Social Democrats in the wake of last year's election debacle. No easy task, with everyone focused on the global financial crisis and the war between Israel and Hamas. As German Foreign Minister, Steinmeier is involved in negotiating peace in the Middle East, something he can weave into his election campaign back home. Taking concrete action to bring about a ceasefire, that's the tradition of social democrat peacemaking. That's the tradition of former Chancellor Willy Brandt. A tradition followed by every social democrat involved in foreign affairs in Germany, and I'm proud of it. The SPD in Hessen are hoping to cash in on Steinmeier's popularity. Thorsten schaefer gumbel the man leading the party into the election, is virtually unknown. He took on the job at the last minute, after his predecessor Andrea Ypsilanti was discredited. schaefer gumbel is thought to have little chance of winning, but he still remains upbeat. I think that everyone can see that I am doing this job with passion and verve, and that really is the case. But the campaign will be an uphill struggle for the SPD. The party's poll ratings in Hessen are disastrous. The sense of urgency is noticeable in the speeches. I urge you and I beg you, in this situation we need to close ranks. Don't just play to be in the running. We're looking to win. Let's put up a fight, comrades, so that Hessen and Germany can win. I thank you. The mood among the local party rank and file has certainly benefited from the Steinmeier visit. Politicians' autographs are highly sought after. Many here say Steinmeier reminds them of Gerhard Schröder, the charismatic chancellor who twice led the SPD to victory at the national level. When I closed my eyes, I thought at times a small bit of Gerhard Schröder is there, in the way he speaks, the way he presents himself. But then he did have a good role model and teacher in Schröder. His friend is quick to agree. The Steinmeier visit has brought fresh impetus to the campaign. After months of infighting, the Hessen SPD is presenting a united front and even winning new members. <laughs> Stephanie Flohr listened to the Steinmeier speech and is now signing up for party membership. But among the wider electorate, there's little enthusiasm for politics. At the local market in Baunatal, traders and shoppers concerned about the economic downturn can't get excited about the election. Many say they don't think it'll change anything. Are people interested in politics right now? Interested? No, not at all. You wonder whether you're just being led up the garden path, if what they tell you is even true. Do you see major differences between the SPD and the Conservatives? No, I have to say not at all. But the Conservative candidate, Roland Koch, is the clear front-runner. The incumbent state premier from Angela Merkel's Christian Democrats appears on course to win in Hessen. The CDU is promoting itself as a steady hand in troubled times. What's the mood like? It's good. It's always good here. We think things will improve. The Social Democrats, meanwhile, are having to fight for every vote in the hope of avoiding a complete drubbing at the ballot box. That would not be a good start to this super election year. But not all voters are sympathetic. Hey, that's a bit stingy. You could have at least put a 5 or 10 euro note in it. Joking aside, for most ordinary voters, personal money worries really do rate far higher than any concerns about the Social Democrats and their future.